guys, I think today what we should be doing is highlighting a few of the features of a bird refrigeration skid cauldron. We might as well start at the bottom, I guess. So they come fully fixed to a galvanized steel skid with its own, with its own fixing points. So it can be pulled up by a tilt tray easily, strapped down and safely transported. Um, all our doors and frames are all made by PVC channels to save um, thermal conductivity from the inside of the room to the outside. We use all the best cold room hardware, stainless steel handles, everything quality. And uh, that's actually what we're all about. So if you look inside these rooms, all our chillers are built of 100 mil panel. All our freezers, 150 mil. All, all chillers and freezers come standard with LED lights, whether it be a floodlight in each room or a weatherproof batten, LED of course. If you look around closely and look at the floors, all our floors are checker plate, aluminium checker plate, 2.5 mil thick. All fully welded joins, fully welded corners. Um, extremely robust and these rooms minimum 20 years it's without a problem um, you can see this room is actually a it's not a dual tent but it's a it's a chiller with a small production area on the front um, so refrigerated in the chiller side when the guys are doing their meat work in here they leave the door open let a bit of cool in so they can do their work um, we've got in this one we've fitted galvanised meat rails so they can hang their, their cut beasts here, do their cutting. We've got a piece of um, extension bar which fits into here. Oh, if I can get it in the slot. That allows them to slide the meat through into the room, hang on the bar in there. Uh, this, is, this is removable, of course, because we need to be able to slide this internal slide door closed when the room's full of meat. Okay, just a few other things that we do um, with our meat rails. They're all bolted through to the ceiling, as you can see by our bolts here. Um, everything is made at quality. These are actually hot dip galvanised welded later and painted on the welds so again you know 20 years is nothing for that sort of lifespan of those rails um, if you come and have a look inside here this small room is run by a it's about a 3.4 kilowatt refrigeration system which is ample to be able to chill down meat um, as it comes off and comes in from getting chopped up and butchered and whatever whatever else they're doing. And yeah, so as you can see, all the, all the aluminium extrusions, all powder coated. Another thing we do do, which a lot of cold room manufacturers don't do, we seal every single joint. We seal all along the tops of all the checker plate floor skirts to make it a very clean, um, you know, beautiful room, easy to wipe out. And, and like I say, quality. It's all, all quality, that's what we're about. We, we just love quality. <laughs> um, and because we've been building rooms for, you know, I don't even know how long now, but um, I think we've got it down pat. And we go the extra mile to make sure that, that whoever buys a room off us is happy with what they get. And that's the main thing. Um, yeah, so you can see, I guess they'll end up putting a little stainless steel bench in here where they do their, their butchering. Um, yeah, and that's, that's the inside of the room. Um, all internal handles, as you can see. It's got the safety release. So you can get out if someone locks you in for some reason. Or if you've got it full of beer, you can lock the door yourself.
Okay, so now we're on top of the room. So you can have a bit of a look around. This, this specific room has got a rotary condensing unit, uh, which runs a capillary system. Very simple, very effective, um, you know, lasts a long, long time. That's, that's the good thing about these systems. You know, there's nothing, you know, nothing too hard to fix, nothing, there's just nothing too complicated which is how we think should, it should be when it comes to a chiller. Um, you can see the pipe work comes out from the evaporator into the unit. Um, all our cabling is always conduited um, into the lights. We always have a separate switch for our lights so you don't have to worry about you know, the lights coming on with the evaporator fan or whatever else, you know, which, which we don't do. The evaporators are mounted by mushroom heads um, which is an insulated nut. All the roofs are all silicon joined naturally, so no water ingress from anywhere. And then you'll see along these bars that are positioned along the top of the roof there, that's actually support bars for the meat rails. Um, so that just transfers the weight from the rails to the edges of the walls uh, and make sure you can put, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred kilos on there, no problem at all. Right, well I think that shows a lot about what we do. Um, next time we'll do a video on trailers. So we'll be doing, we're building a, a nice um, cold room trailer shortly for the, the Winton Museum, um, which I know they're going to be very happy with. So we'll take a video of that and we'll probably do a video again of a freezer room we're doing um, next week. Just so you can see that everything we do is the same quality Everything's got the same equipment, um, you know, some, one, one thing we don't like is warranty, so we, we do the best job we can ever do to make sure our clients get what they pay for. Basically, that's the way it is. Thank you, guys.